Sign up to our daily newsletter Chef Gordon Ramsay has called British people lazy, saying that an influx of foreign workers in the country proves it. The Falmouth star, 50, who has 31 restaurants, said that any curb on EU migrant labor, with Brexit, could be a whack cube call to the industry. He told Radio Times magazine that level of influx of multinational workers in this country has sort of confirmed how lazy as a nation we are when individuals from across the seas are prepared to come and work twice as hard for less money. Confirmed Whopper documentary Gordon Ramsay on cocaine starts Thursday 19 October at 9 p.m. on ITV at gordonramsaypick.twitter.com 4 pcaut one dit ITV Press Center at 8 per center October 4, 2017 If anything, it's a big kick up the ass for the industry, and it's going to get back to the modern-day apprenticeship. So not only do I welcome that kind of change, but I think it's going to put a lot more emphasis on homegrown talent, which I think we need to do. Ramsey, who has four children with wife Tana, was speaking as he promoted his new ITV documentary about cocaine. He was shocked when he was asked by diners to garnish a souffle with cocaine and found traces of the drug in the toilets of nearly all his restaurants. Tana Ramsey arriving for the 2015 National Television Awards Ian Westbrook Ramsey admitted that he was put off drugs early because of his younger brother Ronnie, a long-term heroin addict who has now been missing for six months. He said of a situation last December he turned up outside the three Michelin-starred restaurant at Royal Hospital Road begging customers for money and we had to get the police to move him on. It was that bad. In June, Ramsey's father-in-law Chris Hutchison was jailed for six months for computer hacking as part of a bitter feud with the celebrity chef. Hutchison, 69, was jailed for conspiring to access the Ford Stars and other Gordon Ramsay Holdings Limited staff emails hundreds of times over the space of five months in 2010 and 2011. He has now been released from prison and Ramsay said that he and his wife were looking to the future. Gordon Ramsay's father-in-law Chris Hutchison and Andrew Matthews Fatana had lunch with him here on Friday and I've met him for breakfast. He did some stupid mistakes that he's put his hand up and accepted, and I'd like to think that we've all moved on, he said. Until the truth came out it was very testing for Tana and me, because I think there were moments where she thought, was that Gordon, or was that my dad it was a hard pill for her to swallow. Knowing her father was out to destroy us as a family. But she's had it out with him. He's laid his cards on the table. He's apologized to all of us, and I like to think there's a line in the sand now. Sign up to our daily newsletter.